Hi everybody, this is just a quick video to show you the things that I found with the Dollar Tree, most of which are Valentine's related. Now I didn't find that many things, but I have a few things here to show you. The first one I want to show you is this beautiful heart-shaped glass bowl, and I really love the design of it at the back. It's perfect for putting in Valentine's candies and things like this to put out on your counter. The next thing I found that's also glass is this red vase and it's red transparent glass and it's shaped like a heart on both sides and it's just beautiful and you could use it of course for flowers or I'll be using it for something else in my house. Another thing I found were these pom-poms. They come in three colors. They're the medium size, I believe, pom-poms and there are 80 of them in a pack and I'll be doing a craft with this at the end of this video so be sure to stay tuned for that. I also found these cute little heart-shaped notebooks and there are eight of these in a packet and they come in different colors and these are the pink glittery ones. These I found but these are not Valentine's related at all. I just saw these and I thought they were so cute. I was actually looking for something like this over the holidays and I couldn't find them and this was the last packet that they had in the store. So these are bows that you put on your nails to decorate them for nail art. And basically, I was really upset because one of them at the top was actually somebody stole one from the top, and it's my favorite design, but I decided to get it anyway because they're just so cute. Another thing I found was this sweetheart covered container. This is just so cute. It's a little Valentine's box, and of course, you could put a treat or something like that in there. It has a little Velcro tab to open and close it, and this cute little bow at the front, which I'll be sticking down with hot glue so that it can stay like this. And this I will actually be using in an upcoming video also. Then I found this, and this is just a Klingon, a Valentine's Klingon. It says Happy Valentine's Day. It has cute little glittery hearts. It has the hearts that are two hearts. One of them is, the white one is glittery and the red is not. And then you have pink glittery hearts. And this one has another design on it completely. So I thought this was so cute. And I'll actually be using the hearts from this. And then the last thing I found, which I'll be showing you how this works in a minute, is Whack-A-Pack. And when I saw this, I had to get it because look at the front. It says you hit it and basically you wait and it's supposed to inflate into the shape of a balloon. So I looked up some of the videos and it seems that they work sometimes and sometimes they don't. So we'll see what kind of luck I have with this. So I opened up the Whack-A-Pack and these are the four different balloons that are inside. So first we have Monster Crush and then XOXO sweet with the little cupcakes and happy valentine's day and i also brought four little golden strings to hang them up with in case you want to hang them so let's try these guys out so now i'm going to whack these i'll whack all four of them and let's see which one inflates first okay there they go One at the back. Turn around so you can see. Here's one at the front here. Looks like they're all about to explode. This is very exciting. Okay, this one popped out first, Monster Crush. And then he's going to be second. Ooh, Monster Crush is inflating. Let me see if I can put it up so you can see better. They actually make a funny noise. This one came out next, sweet. He's gonna be the next one. Put my cat 
is also interested. Okay, who do we have left? Exo, Exo, and ooh, Exo is about to blow. And Happy Valentine's Day. Let me just turn around so you can see. Okay. Who are we thinking next? Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. is inflating nicely and monster crush is almost all almost completely fattened up turn this around so you can see it I might have to help these with my scissors cut them open a little bit okay, let me grab some scissors and I'm just gonna open these up a little bit Scissors here, and I'm just gonna do a little snip. Ooh, this is exciting. Hope I don't pop the balloon. Okay. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry for that. Let me scream. Okay, so now we have all the balloons. They just needed a little help. And here they are slowly inflating. That was exciting actually, that was a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna show you an easy craft that you can do using the vase that I got from the Dollar Tree and the pom-poms and some hot glue. So basically I'll just open white all the way around the edge. And then my inside color I'll make pink. And then I'll do one little pom-pom of red right in the middle. Like this. So now that I've finished with my white pom-poms, I'll be adding my pink pom-poms. And I'll just go all around the edge, again, inside of my white ones. And I'll just add my pink. This is very fast and very easy craft to do. Just squeeze your glue and add your pom-pom. I finished adding my pink pom-pom, so the last thing I'll do is add one tiny red pom-pom right in the middle. And then I'm finished my little craft. Now I'll show you how you can use this. Of course you can add flowers to this, but I'll be using this as a pencil holder. Now I'll be using this vase as a pencil holder, and I'll be putting in my pencils that have the cute little rainbow loom pencil toppers. If you want to learn how to make pencil toppers like this, click on the link provided in this video. I'll also have it in the end annotations. Here we go. And I'll actually show you this one, and this is my Valentine's one, and I'll show you how to make this. If you click on the link in this video, and here I added sweet little um, sweetheart candies as the little charms for this pencil. So there you go. Now let's get started on the second craft. Now my second craft is very easy to make. What I'll be using are these styrofoam bowls, and these are one and a half inch styrofoam bowls, and this is the only size I had. You can use larger if you want. You'll just use more pom-poms. I'll be making this into a pom-pom keychain. So the first thing I have to do is attach my keychain and this is just a keychain ring, and you can find this at any craft store. And I just added an eye pin to it, and then I'll simply make a hole at the top. I pushed it in the top like this, since it is styrofoam. And I'll just add a little bit of, a little dab of hot glue, just so that it doesn't come loose. But you could, of course, also use super glue or crazy glue. Just like this. And then what I'll do is I'll stand it here in my makeup brush holder. And if you want to learn how to make this beautiful makeup brush holder, please click on the link provided in this video. Sorry guys, shameless self-promotion. And then I'll stick it up in here like this because we have sand in here just so it won't move around while I'm gluing my hot pom my pom-poms. All I'll do is take one of my tiny pom-poms, add a little hot glue, and then just stick it on. And I'll just alternate my colors. I have a red here. Now I'll just add a pink and then a white. 
and I'll just cover up the whole thing. I'll keep gluing until I've covered up the whole entire styrofoam ball. Eventually, once I get to the bottom, I'll be gluing it down here too, just like this. So I've almost finished covering this with pom-poms. Now I just have to do the bottom part where the stick was before. So I'll just keep adding, probably three or four more. Actually, no, about two more. Put a white one here and another pink one here. And just like that, you have this cute little pom-pom, perfect for your bag or your backpack or your purse. And it's Valentine's colors. Look how cute that turned out. Now my balloons have almost finished completely inflating. This is what they look like right now. And that was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. Let me know if you guys buy these balloons. They're called wack pack And if you try out the crafts that I showed in this video. And if you want to learn how to make these rainbow loom pencil toppers, just click on the end annotations in the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.